Uh, are we on? We're on. I'm I think we're on. You're in my kitchen. Studio. Welcome to welcome to my kitchen studio. I can't believe this like, might look like some sort of set, but this is where Jock Jock lives here. This is his, this is your bed. I'm just, kind of. No. Listen, before we get into that, your wife's we, right there, we, yeah, you? my wife's here and everything. We would just like to acknowledge the traditional owners and the land in which we are here in the kitchen. It belongs to the Wurundjeri people and it has been for a long, long time. We respect their elders past, present and emerging. Um, and we recognise the, the connection that they have to the, the land, the seas, uh, continuing. We obviously recognise all of the cultures in this great nation. And the food that we're going to be eating today. Yes. Um, and uh, we're here to celebrate uh, a taste of harmony. We're in the middle of the two weeks, 14th to the 25th. Those are the dates. And today's date is the 18th. <laughs> is so it? Long. It is. Mine says the 19th. Well, you, you're, wrong. you're ahead of okay. us, aren't you? Cool. Time uh, travel. I don't know, do you know much about the taste of harmony? This is your first. This is, your this first. is my first uh, taste of harmony, yeah. Well, it's not mine. I've done this once before. Um, but it's. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a couple of weeks celebrating cultural diversity in the workplace. Um, cultural diversity is diverse cultures. Australia is very multicultural. We are incredibly multicultural. And this is a, this is a period of time where we're gonna celebrate that. You can do that at work by hosting your own cook along in person or a virtual one like we're doing right now. You can do that with your colleagues. Or if you want, you can just write a, Write your own cookbook, share it with your friends. But we're not virtual, we are actually here. Like we're real. You, you are You're real. Here. You're here. This is, this is real. This is a real... So this I'm this a young a person's, real my, I've got my thriller. young person's jersey on, I'm yeah. ready. No, because we went on TikTok before and told all the kids to join us, so g'day all 12 year olds that are watching. Um, now Jock, you are culturally diverse, <laughs> <laughs> as we all are. That's an understatement. <laughs> um, well, you're, you're Scottish? Half Italian, half and Scottish. Uh, and Italian. But born in Scotland. Yeah. Dad's, dad's side of the family are all Italian, mum's side are all Scottish. Um, born over there, left Scotland pretty early, I was about 15 when I, 16 when I got out of Scotland. And then uh, I've been living in Australia for 22 years. And you were like a head chef at 21? 21, yeah. Which is insane. It was ridiculous. You're I like should a... never have been given that responsibility. I did some really dumb things. So you, you've been, you've just been a, g a genius in the kitchen since as long as you can remember? I wouldn't say I've been a genius. Uh, <laughs> I, some, I mean, a lot of people say that chefs are artists. I mean, yeah. I am a piss artist. Um, <laughs> Anyway, and I think, you know, the funny thing about kitchens and, and a, a taste of harmony and what I like about it and why I said yes to doing it is that kitchens are a melting pot of cultures. So every kitchen I've worked in since I was part time as a kid or as an apprentice and even in restaurants today, you will have people for you like literally you're going to have at least a dozen different mm. cultures within that kitchen. Um, and it's great because every day we have staff meal and every day there's a, a roster and someone will cook staff meal and mm. there's always someone, you know, someone's cooking something from their hometown, you know? And so did you grow up eating what, Italian food, or, uh, Scottish food? Oh, oh, it's called you Irish. Junior, wasn't Ooh. There? Ooh. <laughs> um, knives are sharp, <laughs> hey, real sharp. Um, no, I kind of, we, well, we had this weird thing, right? So half, half the, the family was Italian, half Scottish. So we had mince and tatties, very boring kind of Scottish beige looking food. And then we had really vibrant and exciting <laughs> Italian food that I was sort of more attracted to. Right. So clearly I, favorite. Yeah, I mean, exactly. And I grew up sort of noticing there was this difference in our family between the Italians and the Scottish. Yeah. And without knowing it, you were kind of learning that there was differences in cultures, yeah. you know? And, and it's a beautiful thing, we, man. Were your, were, your, were your family, were they all into food? Were they big into cooking and in the way you are, like you're, you're obsessed. I'm with obsessed. Respect. Yeah, I am obsessed with food, and I think mum wasn't. I think mum cooked because it was, you know, we had mm. to eat. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It How wasn't many brothers so much did you? Yeah. I had one big sister. Right. Okay. Um, so mum generally cooked to, to, to feed us. It was mm. a function that had to be done every day. Um, whereas the Italian side of the family, it, it seems to be intertwined in that culture. Right. Uh, in a more sort of social way, yeah. which shows in a lot of cultures. Yeah, like I think food is, well, for Sri Lanka, it's very central to like social gatherings. It's all about the food, especially for, I'm Muslim, for Muslim culture, we don't drink so for a night yeah. out or for a good time. It's all about the food, which yeah. is why, yeah, we, we, we're heavy people. <laughs> um, listen, I'm going to teach you how to be a bit of a chef. So oh, first no. of all, get, get your, you want me to start yelling at people? On, just let's, all right, let's get into it a little bit. It's a bit of this. So everybody, 
including you, you should have uh, salted your egg, sliced and salted your eggplant overnight. Oh yeah, did yeah. you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Did you do your homework? I did this. I came prepared with the. Uh, these are the fanciest. You're so, <laughs> such a liar! You haven't done. I anything. did. Look how I cut them. I cut them. Oof. Sheesh. All right. Listen, we're gonna we're gonna. I've, I've watched them. Over. So we need to squeeze them out. So just grab a few slices wait, at wait, a time. Wait, wait, before we start, what, what are we making? We're making an, an eggplant parmigiana jaffle. An eggplant parmigiana jaffle. Is there a story behind this? Yeah, I, I got asked to make a recipe for a taste of harmony. <laughs> and I thought to myself, well, if people are going to be doing this in mm. their office, I better make a recipe that you can make in your office. So nothing fancy, no three hearts. I think stuff, you're lying. No, I think you're like, oh, i cooking with that Nazim guy. He's a bit... You know, not very, not very clever. Uh, that's just, just something it's, simple. Right? It's just, it's right. a simple-ish kind yeah, of. It's okay. a pretty fancy jaffle. Yeah. All right. But jaffle maker you'd have in most offices. Yeah. Microwaves you'd have in most offices. I tea reckon. towels. Tea towels. So let's get a, get your sliced eggplant and just kind of fold it, f like roll it up like that, How and many then slices squeeze. Did you do? Oh, okay. Just, just a few and just a bunch of them. And all we're going to do is squeeze as much of the liquid out as you can. So these have been salted overnight. Well done, you did yeah, a really good Thank you very much. I thought I'd fun, leave it, yeah, it was a bit, yeah, 7 p.m. last night. Yeah? Yeah, canceled all plans. How thick did you slice it? Uh, I tend to cut them about a centimeter thick. Oh yeah? And, that thick. And how much salt did you use? Really just depends, like I tend to go on my mood. <laughs> Amazing, okay. I'm bad at lying. I would, I would not do well on would I lie to you? No, you wouldn't. Were you on that? Nah. No. No, because I was, I was thinking about Taste of Harmony and I was like, I can't, guys, I'm busy. Can't. Too much work on. Too much work. All right, so just squeeze as much of these as you can. Look at all the water that comes out of them. So this is the thing about eggplant. There's a couple of things. One, we've peeled these because the outside skin of the eggplant sort of tends to discolor the eggplant. It looks a bit yeah, so, so wait, did, can, okay. Uh, Cards on the table, I didn't do any work before I came here. <laughs> but did you peel these? Where's the yeah, eggplant colour? Yeah, I peeled them. Oh, you peeled, okay, okay. Because the, the skin of the eggplant looks like, it makes it go like a real weird colour. It's yeah. not that nice. And it's a little bit bitter. Yeah. And it, yeah, it? and so when you're, when you're eating your jaffle, you don't want bitter eggplant, right? No, yeah. Um, we salt it so as it takes all of the water. I mean, look how much water is in. That's a in lot that. of water. That's a lot, huh? Just, you, let me guess, you, that's, that's a drink for later? Do you use everything? Or do you water your plants with that now? No, uh, it's salty, so it'd probably kill the plants. Have already. you ever had an office job? God, you're strong, hey. Look at oh, those, look at those muscles. Come on, mate. Says this guy. A couple of pippies, like me. I don't have muscles either. <laughs> We've got a camera guy called Rob who's got the biggest biceps I have ever seen in my life. Hasn't he? Well, this and is he flexes not, them too, like he stands around his... I'm joking. You're pretty, this guy's pretty, pretty tough looking. What about him? Yeah, pretty tough, but Rob's biceps are honestly about three times bigger than yours. Don't worry, I, mean, I told you. I measured them. He's blushing. All right, look at that. So can you see the amount of water that comes out of your eggplant? That's why it's important to salt it, because when we're cooking a jaffle, we don't want all, can you imagine all that water in your jaffle? It'd just be a soggy mess. Just, yeah. Rubbish, yeah. right? Do you reckon you'll catch up today, or shall I come back later? <laughs> we have an hour to fill, so I hope you guys are strapped in. Oh, hang on. All right. Oh, is everybody cooking at home as well? Cooking along. Everyone's cooking along. I bet they didn't salt their eggplants. I bet you they've already squeezed all their eggplants. <laughs> so once you've squeezed your eggplants, just separate them out into a bowl. Like okay. this. Oh. And just chuck it. Just, okay. Yeah, chuck that behind. And, and so just separate them out. Oh man, my muscles in my hand are actually like... They're sore now. <laughs> so You've been doing exercise. Okay, this one's obviously... I classify that as exercise, by the way. Do you, do you have an exercise regime? No. Does he do push-ups? I'm scared of Lauren. it. No way. Lauren's his wife, off screen. Push-ups? Does he, does he Darling, exercise? have I ever been in a gym? Just the once. Once. What happened? You did start up. In, in a comical way to embarrass you. Really? Yeah, and so then you threw me out of the gym. <laughs> So you, okay. I've got no interest in being in a gym, which is why I did the silly star jumps. But if you, you clearly eat healthy. No. There's something going on. I eat so much fried chicken, it's disgusting. Oh my God, I'm jealous. No. Um, okay. So separate all your eggplants. Separate all of so your So far, being a chef plant. is really easy. It's simple, You huh? just come to Jock's house and you, you squeeze <laughs> his eggplants and he's already squeezed and salted. Extra virgin olive oil, and we're just gonna put a bit of a drizzle on there. Okay. Are you good? Thank you. And then 
black pepper. So give it a, a good <laughs> go my for hand, it. My hands are going to eggplant. Just That's why you got that. There, there you go. go. Oh, there we go. That's all right. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Plenty of pepper. Like you want to get the pepper in there. Pepper's a beautiful flavor in eggplant parmesan. So, and then just mix it up with your hands. So we're not putting any salt in this because obviously we salted it overnight. Salted so there's overnight. plenty of salt in there. We don't want to, we don't want to have too much salt. And then we're going to get it onto a plate basically, and we're gonna use a good old fashioned microwave. This right? is already the fanciest Jaffa I've ever been involved with making. Also, I feel like, you know, I've gone from a three hat restaurant to a Jaffa. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling a little- You're a man of the people. I'm feeling a little, uh, there's, a, there's a little blue cloth there that you can wipe your, uh, we'll go, we're, we've only got one microwave, so we're just gonna use, let's do it together, look. Come on, okay. put some of your eggplant on that. And some of mine. What oh. does it say in the recipe? I can't remember how many minutes. Isn't that sweet? Your eggplant's next to mine. Oh. Those ones are touching. Hi, what's the story with the eggplant emoji? Lauren, do you want to... I tried to, save, I tried to save the eggplant at one point. Don't because like I thought, you know, no. that's bad. <laughs> You've written a book called Last Shot, which is about the last time you... You turn around and you don't know what the eggplant emoji is. Well, no, I do know what it is. I'm just asking why. Why did that happen? All right, I'm putting it in the microwave. What does it say in the recipe? How many minutes? I forgot. Three minutes. Three? So, it, depending on your... How does he... How did... Is that it? Yeah. I'm on it. Look at that. I could be a chef. Easy. There you go. Um, three minutes in the microwave. If you've got a low-powered microwave... Get a high-powered one. Yeah, I don't know what to tell What's you. What's wrong with you? Just put it in for longer, maybe. <laughs> um, so, we're, that's going to take a couple of times because we're going to... Okay. We need... Multi what do you, multiple plates. What, um, what do you normally have for lunch these days? Um, so we would do, when we're filming MasterChef, in the early starts of the stages of the season when there's 24 contestants, yeah. we might taste something like 20 dishes. Plus, I would get fried chicken or... Oh, as in on top of that? Yeah, yeah for actual wow. lunch. So yeah. do, you, do you consider the tasting part, like that's your lunch? I just sort of pretend that that's just a Brucey bonus, a little extra. So yeah. I, I, I need lunch. Your body must be so that. confused. It's like, all right, what are we having for lunch today? A bit of this, bit of that. What the hell's going on? There's some plenty, of, good, there's plenty of variety. I like it. And Andy and Mel kind of, they struggle a little yeah. They can't eat as much as me. So <laughs> they're... they're They'll just take a little yeah. spoonful off each plate, and if I like it, I'm eating all of it. So for breakfast, do chefs like you? Do you have? Can you have cereal from a from a box? I the, I quite like Rice Krispies, yeah. Cocoa Pops, Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes, all yeah. the bad stuff. Right. You know? okay. But we don't. I don't eat breakfast, really. Right. Right. Like if Loz wants to go out for a coffee or something, but I'll eat breakfast. Won't I? But otherwise, I just don't eat it. Do people freak out when you go into their restaurant? Are they like? Yeah, there's a bit of that these yeah. days, yeah. unfortunately. What do you? How do um, you? I, they, you just say yes when they ask for a picture, or people like stand awkwardly <laughs> looking at you like that. And it's well, like, what about when they're serving you food? Do um, they stand there with their tea towel and wait for your comments? I no, no, no. I, I really tend to make people feel at ease because it's just there's not. It's just me. Right, right. And and I am so happy that someone else is cooking yeah. and not me. So you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sometimes walk in with a notepad just to. You do not. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just want. It'd that. be funny though. We've got a minute to go. So we're going to do a couple of plates of these. I reckon yeah. probably three times because we need all of the eggplant. And there's a lot of crew. Um, in the meantime, let's yeah. make the, uh, the tomato guy. So okay. The tomato guy. The tomato guy, we're going to call it. Okay, okay. So I that was a, a, che a chef term. Squeeze. Squeeze some Italian tomato on basil paste. Yeah, squeeze it straight in the bowl. Oh, that was a... <laughs> Make chef jokes. <laughs> Do you know, that one never gets old either. Like, it's just good. Never gets old. So, uh, tomato paste. So, this stuff is like, I'm not associated with this brand at all, but th this one actually happens to be really, really good, which is why I yeah. said that. Th that's enough. Whoa, oh, whoa. Relax, bro. Oh, crap. Can I squeeze it back in? No. You can suck it up. What like, are you doing? You know when you accidentally squirt out too much toothpaste and then you can... No, no one does is that. Is that a thing? No, I don't do that. Is that a thing? <laughs> Who does that? I don't think it is a thing. Yeah, it is a thing. You just kind of, you know. It's like when you spill milk on the floor, you just sort of get the bottle and then you... All right, your, your one's going to be really rich, okay? Yeah. Um, and then get the 
tomato. So again, I'm not um, necessarily associated with this brand in any particular way. However, this one here, use that one and see if it's open. Yeah. Um, how much? Pasta sauce, if you make your own Tell me sugo, how much this time. Just like, copy. It's all red in the bowl. All right, one, two. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm on the project tonight. You're on the brink of a and disaster. I've got tomato sauce on my t-shirt. Oh god. Oh well. All right. So this is this is what your eggplant should look like after it's been in in the uh, microwave. The micro wave, as uh, Nigella calls it. This sort of looks like vegetarian ceviche. Yeah. Right. I've ever invented something. Copyright. No. <laughs> um, what's nice about this is it's a different way. Like I think people use eggplant. They tend to burn the skin and make like. Uh, they make, um, what's what it called? called? Moussaka. Baba Baba Ganoush. Ganoush. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. kind of what you see all yeah. the time. So it's nice to do something a little bit different with mm. it. Let's load up this plate with some more um, eggplant. Okay. No emoji jokes necessary. Do you ever like um, help out at your kid's canteen? Um, sometimes, usually uh, pancake day, I get drafted in to make crepes with the with the kids, which is always wow. which is always great fun. Yeah. Over the years, that's been a a, a constant. Um, yeah. But yeah, canteen actually didn't. You, you didn't have... Daycare lost a chef not that long ago. Huh? I should have applied daycare for that master job. chef. Daycare for our kids. The chef left. They've got a chef at daycare. Oh really? Yeah, for for real. No job. Chef at daycare. Yeah, and he is left. It because of everyone's different allergies and health. I things? think so. Yeah. But I wow. think you know. I think feeding our kids. Good food is an important thing, right? Yeah. You've got little ones. Yeah, I mean, we only have Maccas once every couple of days. <laughs> when you go to McDonald's, what's your order? Filet of fish. For real? Filet of fish, yeah. Oh, mm. unless we go to a halal McDonald's. Yeah. There's one on Sydney Road in Coburg. There's a couple in Sydney. In Sydney, there's about three or four. Uh, I'm not going to carry I'm not going to get another sponsor. <laughs> that okay. You're going to use a knife now. Are you all right with that? Yep. Are you sure? Uh, a sharp one. Yeah, sharp. There's a knife just there for you. So what you want to do is we're just going to cut the eggplant that way, okay? So into little strips. And the reason we're doing this is because you see a lot of recipes online have eggplant, you know, just put in strips in your jaffle. But believe me, when that eggplant is in the jaffle and then it's been sitting in the jaffle maker for whatever, eight minutes, six minutes, it is nuclear hot. And when you bite into it, Third degree burns. Well, yeah, because what happens is you bite into it and you can't bite through yeah. the eggplant and then it slips out of the jackal oh. and then burns your chin. Yeah, yeah. and then you, that's what you have it's to have like to go weird. to. Then you have to explain, like, yeah. what's yeah. the weird red birthmark in your chin? <laughs> it's a conversation starter in the office. Mm. Okay, so what we are going to do with this is we're going to give it a little bit of a... Well, you're just going to chuck the eggplant in. We're going to chuck the eggplant in and give it a, a little bit of love. Wow. So, you put it straight like in stove. one size. Yeah, just use it like a stove. Because this was the whole idea about getting something that you could, <laughs> or something really nice yeah. that you could cook with office equipment. That is so cool. So, I've just never let used it do a jackal as a stove. Like, is like a, that's so cool. I cook eggs in them. Do you really? Yeah, fried eggs. Wow. A little bit of curry sauce. Really? Yeah, or you can put some co coconut milk and a bit of like lime leaf, some ch yeah. chili. It feels naked without the bread. Oh, it's not, yeah. we're going to take it out. Oh, yeah, okay. Just using it to do a little bit of cookie cook. Nice. Um, right. Okay. Let's, um, this is all yours. Great. So we've got a few more plates to do. If you're playing along at home, how many are we going to make? Just one. We'll do that other one plate. We'll make one jaffle each. Can what I ask, um, what, uh, so this is, this is like office food for, well, what, what is office food around the world like? Yeah, yeah. That's a, I've never worked in an office, so I'm not sure, but mm. I imagine it to mm. be pretty ordinary. Yeah, because we have jaffa machines in like Australia. I wonder if there's like, I don't know, woks in South Asia. In an office, that's yeah. not a bad idea. I don't know. Please comment below. Yeah. I know, you know like in Dubai, there's a guy whose job is literally to walk around the office and give you chai, give you tea. He's just called a tea guy. Wow. Just, that's just, you know, we show that in Australia. Loz, can you put that on the list? Can we have a tea guy yeah. for film days? Yeah. yeah. Not your wife. No. Don't. Um, okay, also, I've got some anchovies here. So I'm going to pop, Ooh. we're going to put some anchovies in our one just as a little added. Is that scene. controversial? That's, is that an option? Some people love anchovies and some people don't. I love anchovies. Oh, you I'm, an anchovy I'm lover? I'm, 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 they're, they're very overpowering. They can be overpowering. 
Yeah. Mm. I, I kind of like it. I like the overpoweringness. Um, it's like the person that comes into a party and they're just like, hey, it's me. And everyone's like, man, we're just trying to have a conversation. Shut up. They're really, they're strong, aren't they? They are strong, but I think the, there's a beauty to anchovies. They are a massive hit of umami into whatever it is you're making. Yeah. In this case, um, anchovies not classic in an eggplant parmigiana, right. but for me, it just makes it a lot more interesting. Uh, anchovies like the little fish in a fish tank that swim around the goldfish. Those little skinny ones. Is that basically what? Where, where are they from? <laughs> they're from the sea. I know they're from the sea. <laughs> But is it, is it, I was just they're not they're just, goldfish. No, not the goldfish. You know the little ones, the little skinny ones that are just sort of... Anyway, don't worry about it. Don't think about that. Cool. Um, <sighs> if anyone's at home, leave the goldfish alone. <laughs> don't touch... Do not touch... <laughs> I repeat, do not touch the goldfish. But if you're at the office and there's a fish tank Ooh. and you're hungry... Uh, um, this is hot. This is hot. A little bit hot, 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 hot. hot. Mm. It's okay. should harden up a bit. So the idea is, is that we've cooked the eggplant in the microwave, but we're going to caramelize it in the jaffle maker. Yeah. Right? Have you ever had curry sandwich? Like chicken curry sandwich? Yes. I used to have that for school. Sometimes I'd, you know. Um, so good. So good. My mum used to make it, put it in sandwiches. And then back then, some kids you know, obviously thought it was nice. It smelled nice. But other kids were like, oh, that smells weird. But nowadays, it's cool again, isn't it? It is. But yeah, you, know, you would have been the time. same as me. My lunchbox was filled with salami and mortadella and weird smelling cheeses and stuff. And yeah. when I opened my lunchbox, I got a bit of a hard time because all the Scottish kids had like cheese and pickle sandwiches or something <laughs> like that. And I had like stinky, full on well, leftover yeah. stuff, which, you know, you kind of got picked on a little bit. And I feel that. like now those same people are like going, hey, have you checked out this great fusion restaurant? Yeah. It's an Italian Scottish place. Um, all right, more in here. Right. So fire it in the other side. Looking good. Okay. No, all good. Didn't Can you cut yourself? No, no, all good. <laughs> don't think so. You don't think so? Don't good. Think so. Okay. Now, cheese. So this is scamosa. Um, you can use mozzarella if, um, if you couldn't find scamosa. Scamosa is basically like a smoky mozzarella. Right. It's delicious. You've got one that my wife kindly took out of the Thank packet. Thank you very for much, you. Lauren. I don't know Thank what's you. Why she didn't take mine out of the packet, but no, anyway. you've done this a few times. Thanks, darling. Thank you very much. There you go. It looks like like a man, and that's his head. That's his body. A man that's that loves cheese. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna slice as thinly as possible, so it should be good fun watching you do oh, this. God. Well, I did the eggplant last night. <sighs> So where's this cheese from? Italy. Oh. Uh, and like I say, it's just like a, it's like a mozzarella that's been smoked, really. Oh, nice. Are we allowed to taste it as we chop? Yeah, give it a little go. Oh, that feels, that's nice. That tastes expensive. Is that expensive? It's actually not, it's really cheap. And if you, you could make your own scamosa nice. by getting mozzarella and smoking it yourself if you wanted. Okay, well. Your slices aren't that thin, how? Thin is, uh, it's in the eye of the beholder. Oh, got it. And uh, you know, from a distance, this is really thin. <laughs> if, from a distance, if you squint. <laughs> Close enough is good enough. Has there ever been a chef's challenge at MasterChef where the chef cook? Uh, Andy and I had to verse each other oh, really? uh, last season, um, which was pretty funny because we both pretty much ran out of time. What, what did you cook? Uh, I cooked a fish dish with like a eucalyptus beurre blanc and I can't remember what else it was, but I, it was, yeah, I was drink, I, I was being a client and drinking cups of tea and eating biscuits, pretending that like, <laughs> I didn't need any time. Right. And then I very quickly realized that I was running out of time. Ooh, tortoise in the hair. Yeah. Have you ever worked for an Italian chef? Um, no, no, I haven't actually. Can you speak, can you understand or speak Italian much? Very, very slightly. Right. No, I'm not fluent as I'd like to be, unfortunately. Well, All right. Think, yeah. There's heaps so, of Italians in Melbourne, aren't there? There is. Yeah. I, we live in Carlton, which is kind of little Italy. -ish. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I I always end up in the Italian areas of wherever, wherever country we're in. Yep. You're just drawn to the. I'm drawn to it. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, you didn't shut it. It's all good. That's ruined the recipe. No, that <laughs> ruined it. Okay. Um, now, what we're going to do is 
grab our I'll I'll grab three time. balls actually. I'll get rid of that. Will you do anything with that? No. It's just salty water, really. Okay. Which salty eggplanty water. Yeah, we're not really into it. So what we're gonna do is take the eggplant out. So you can see it started to get some caramelization on oh, the that's eggplant. That's so cool. Which is kind of cool. And caramelization is flavor, right? So what we want to do is set your bowl right next to your um, what's it called? This thing, Jaffel maker. Jaffel maker. And then scoop it inside. So yeah, this bowl. I got you one right there. Sorry. So we've now got. When you think about it, this is like super seasoned, slightly caramelized. The longer you leave it in there, the more delicious it gets, right? But for the sake of this cook along, this cook along, we're going to move on to the next stage. But honestly, you could give it 10, 15 minutes in the jaffle maker and it will just become beautiful mm. and it smells delicious. Nice. It smells good, right? It smells nice. Awesome. Okay, so now we've got eggplant, you've got your tomato mix, which is obviously the, the tomato concentrate plus the sugo. We've got a sliced cheese and you should have some basil in front of you, right? So we're gonna start making our, uh, we're gonna start making our jaffle, are you ready? I'm white, ready. White bread? White bread. Does it work with wholemeal bread? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you wanted to use wholemeal bread, for me, I'm not, just, it's a bit too healthy for me, that. I think white bread, you know? Yeah, why not? Wonder white. <laughs> <laughs> you use a spoon for the, for, is that butter? Yeah, it's butter. Wow, that's a chef thing, is it? Just a shit. It's just a kind of shit. So if you just do that and just casually at home in front of guests, they'll be like, "Wow, this person is trained." Yeah, what's going on? So we're we're doing both sides of your bread, just on one side, right? Go. Okay. And then we're gonna go down with some of our tomato mixture. Okay. Oh, did you say? Did I add anything into the thing? I didn't, did I? No, I just want to double check. I'm not leading people into that. What are you yeah. saying? Huh? So but get you us, yeah, actually, I wasn't sure if you mixed, asking an actual question. You mixed this up already, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just now grab one spoonful of it and just mix it. What did you just do the over there? Nothing. Oh, okay. I thought you were like staring secretly. I was talking to my manager. Okay, okay. <laughs> saying cancel this deal. Get the team out of my house. Um, um, so get some and just Put it on there and see le you leave an edge around the outside so don't go all the way to the edges okay oh like that how you can put the ball down and then you can all right a lot of moving parts <laughs> all right next up you're going to go on with the with the eggplant you can do this in any order as long as you've got sort of a bit of all of it Hey, how come you're using my eggplant? You know, we're sharing. We had our eggplants next to each other on the plate initially. And they were touching. They were touching and- Weird. They've been in the microwave together. Weird they've been on a real it. journey. Kind of like you and me. All right, then we're gonna add <laughs> some leaves of fresh basil. You better not put like some- There's gonna be romantic music. <laughs> romantic music, let's go. Wow. Wow. And then we're gonna add- um, Wait, what did you do? Oh. Basil, yep. a few basil leaves, crack of black pepper, okay. and then cheese. Now you're, crack butter. <laughs> because you've got really thick slices of cheese, um, I think you, I your, ones are, your ones are gonna be super cheesy. Oh, really? Yes. Which is not a bad thing, right? It's not a bad thing. More cheese, okay. more taste. So that's one layer, and we Whoa. wanna do that as many times as we can. Oh really? Yeah. You just keep going. You keep going. <laughs> Next layer, bring it on. Oh my goodness. Can I ask, is this, if this had a health star rating, what would you get? Stop it. We're not here for healthy recipes, Naz. Yeah, we're not. Naz. We're here right. for taste of harmony. We're here for cultural taste of diversity. harmony. It's a healthy thing, cultural diversity, but just not literally. This is just, you know, it's a delicious kind of full on. Wait, I forgot what's after the eggplant. Eggpl egg. Eggplant next. Tomato, eggplant, basil, cheese. Repeat. Far out, you're quick. Whoa. I think you're doing pretty well, mate. There you go. All right. 
buzz of leaves. You haven't yelled at me once. Like, I'm starting to wonder whether you're a real chef. <laughs> you're not allowed to yell at people anymore. I mean, political correctness. Right. All right. Here we go. Two. Black pepper, cheese. How are you going with the cheese? Did you put huh? like wait, loads wait, on? Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, my, my che- this is thick. Look at the height of mine. You're full cheesed. This oh is God. a skyscraper yeah. of a jaffle. Oh, look at this. They're just massive. Wow. Dude, you know like I had the entire, that's, this is like half of that entire Stop it. cheese loving man. <laughs> wow. All right. I so can't just keep going. So we're hit totally. We're yeah. going for the, this is, if, you, if you've done it too thick, that's your fault. Right. I, I'm probably right. going to have a heart attack. You're going to learn the hard way, but mate. I'll die You're happy. You're going to learn the hard way. Here we go. <laughs> this looks amazing, though. <laughs> All right. Last layer. So we're, this is our third layer of eggplant, right? <laughs> and because it's cut and seasoned nicely, it means that when you do bite into your jaffle, yes, it will be nuclear hot, mm. but... Um, it's not going to burn your chin. No, it's not going to like drag out because we cut it all up into nice strips. So, that's all. Fear not. Yours is actually flat out full. Mine bag. is just. You're, you're mental. You've gone all light there. I wouldn't say I've gone light, but. Here we go. All right. Damn. Let's check out the height of this. Whoa, straight to the hips. Okay, <laughs> lid on. Okay. Now, two things happen here. One, we have to butter the top. With a spoon. With a spoon, because cause chef, right? That's what separates us chefs from Exactly, from people. cooks. Do you, get, do you hate being called a cook? I don't care, honestly. Be called much worse than a cook horror chef. <laughs> Another C word. No. Cabbage. Clever. Clever. <laughs> um, okay. Then we're going to go into our um, jaffle. Into our jaffle makeup yeah. with a little knob of butter on each side. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Because the underside of our bread hasn't been buttered, right? Ah, so it's Do you know what I mean? Ah. So it's going to go in there like that. And then just make sure you get it right in the middle okay. as best you can. And then you're going to have a hard time closing your lid, but you know, good luck. Look at that. My, look, even mine has like had a little bit of a... <laughs> it's dribbling. A panic attack around the outside. Oh, look at this. Wow. Whoa. So the idea is that Whoa. this is... Pro- yeah, you've... Look at that. Right. Yeah, oh my God. That is hectic. It's hectic because you're hectic. Far out. That is amazing. That, like, just the sides would normally be the size of my lunch. So, we don't leave it. You don't touch. The the thing about jaffles are, if you open it and close it, like, if you're looking, it's not cooking. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it. Okay. Do you want to go wash something? Six, eight minutes. 68 minutes? Six to eight minutes. Six to eight minutes. That's it. So, while we're waiting... Let's eat the leftovers. How about cheese? Mmm. That is quite good. I forgot to put the anchovy in. Anyway, oh, if you wanted to put anchovy in. Do you reckon you prepared enough butter? Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask, is this, a, is this another chef thing? You just you can't just use it out of the thing. Chefs are, on, are only bowl. able to create things in bulk. <laughs> you know what? I love cooking shows because everything looks really easy because it's all set out. Yeah. Do you cook like... Um, like I do where I go to the fridge for the ingredients and then put it back. Nine times out of ten, yeah. Or do you do this first? I know, I can't, it depends, it depends if I've got time. Mm. Yeah, I've, got, kid, I've got kids, so I just don't have time. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. you end up just doing things. Do your kids like cooking? Um, the, yes, all of them do. Mm. Um, except the baby, because baby. Because, <laughs> yeah. Um, but Alfie, who's four, <laughs> um, he's got a little stool and he stands up on the bench and he just wants to do everything. Really? Yeah, he cannot yet do anything, but he wants to wow. do everything. So. Wow. When um, did you know you were good at cooking? Well, look at this what is like, the heck? This is out of control. This is actually just, seriously, this is the best looking jack- jaffle I've ever seen get made. Wow. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> So my, advi- my only regret is that I didn't put more cheese in there. Are you sure? <laughs> I actually think 
is going into cardiac arrest. This um, I think it might explode. Maker. Yeah, it's really. You got insurance on this house? It's fair to say there's a lot of uh, surplus this, coming right? out the side. We're a little bit rough. Mm. Oh man! The thinner you make each layer, wow, that's actually the awesome. The better it will be. Not actually awesome. It's uh, awesome. It's awesome. You sound surprised. <laughs> are you? Are you genuinely surprised? Um, so this is insane. If, if you like us packed your jaffa with too many ingredients it will spill out the edge so the thinner you make your layers the easier it's going to be right oh, this is just crazy you i, I did say you'd overfilmed it a little bit i don't like, know i mean obviously what is that i don't know but i just don't think <laughs> all your basil's coming out as well <laughs> look at the whole thing it's just you wouldn't, you wouldn't be much shock in a jaffa kitchen would you oh that's like me when I'm traveling interstate and I'm, and I'm trying to squeeze 32 kilos into my hand luggage and just trying to act casual. My clothes are just squirting out the sides. It's a Jaffel version of a pressed ham. <laughs> um, that's it. It's as easy as that. This is... Oh, do we have anybody, does anybody have any questions? Is, is, it, is anybody there? Or are you just in his house filming? Is, there, is anybody... Hello? 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 This is a taste of harmony. Oh yeah, by the Hello. way, we should probably tell people. Uh, yeah, can you tell we're, people about taste of harmony? We are oh. currently in the middle of taste of harmony. My hands have got a bit of tomato on it, but that's all right, it's a pink top. It, it, the 20, uh, six, 12, 14th, 14th to the 25th, to the 25th of March, 2020. We're already in March, nearly at the end of it as well. Frightening thought. Um, we're celebrating cultural diversity in the workplace. So you can get involved. You can also give your appliances a workout. Um, share a recipe from your culture or maybe try a new one out. Write a, write a recipe for your friends, do a cook along. Um, still, still time to get involved. Yeah, plenty of time. Tasteofharmony.org.au. Not to be confused with .com.au, like I was. No, no. it's .org.au. .org. Yeah, it will take you to a very different website mm. um, that is PG rated. Are you going to give them the uh, OnlyFans site? No. 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 <laughs> no. What about yours? Yeah, I'm going to put a special picture what of about Naz, and I, Naz and I with our eggplants on my OnlyFans page. <laughs> Naz and Jocks. Donations kindly accepted. Yeah. Um, <laughs> back to the Jaffles. Um, as you can see, the outpouring of love, uh, which <laughs> is just... It's been an incredible out response the from the Jaffle. <laughs> yeah, but now that you can see, it stopped sort of pouring out the side because we overfilled them. Right. And it's starting to caramelise. And the reason I say don't open it is that you just want, you want that bread to crisp up as soon as you can because mm. you don't want a soggy Jaffle at no. the end of the day. Um, the more caramelization it's got, the darker it is generally, the more I like it. Do you like a pale crust on your jaffa? Oh, man, I, want a, I want a crispy, I want a crispy like this. I mean, you don't want it like this. It's too much. You want a crispy. Yeah. It's, it's too like, much. It's it. tasty, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Like the bits that come out of the sides are always good, right? That's so good. I don't know if there's anybody watching who I respect, but I've just lost a bit of dignity. <laughs> but gained so much taste. You've gained a lot of taste today. Mm. Um, okay, so we've got a little plate that we're going to have uh, our finished, our finished jaffles on. What do you reckon yours is going to look like when we lift it? Uh, it's just, I think it's going to probably look. Well, like the whole sides. bread have moved off to the side, <laughs> so it'll be like half there, half not there. Can you maybe. Photoshop on the run in live? Like when we open it, can it just look beautiful? They're saying no. Oh man. No photoshopping. Well, it's my first go, you know, this is, you know, I've got to when manage I, your expectations. You're, uh, you're about to go on tour. I'm about to go on tour. Melbourne International Comedy Festival. All right. Maybe okay. the laughter will get you to one and a half minutes. Okay. So three and a half minutes What's the go. key? What's the key no, to the being key a good stand-up comic? You just got to um, fake it till you make it. Actually, though, what is the key to being a stand-up comic? Stand -up is it experience? Like chefs, like cooking, the more, the more you cook, the more mistakes you make, the better yeah. you get. Well, with, with, with stand-up, it's the same thing. There's no shortcuts. You just got to do it a long time. Yeah, right. Some people are naturally funny, but then you just got to keep doing it. You got to die a lot on stage, be comfortable with the feeling of having a bad time. So, you know, you'd be used to that. C cooking's the same. We <laughs> fail every day. Yeah, you people, you people are always criticising restaurants. and. I think it's the most criticised industry in the world. Anyone has their opinion, they just put it online. You know, yeah. they jump on, the old keyboard warriors. Yeah, you and no, politicians, I everybody has an opinion. And I had a cold asparagus spear. Have you ever gone after Google reviewers and commented back? I always reply to them. Do you really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So if there's a response from one of your, well, you're not doing Orana anymore. No. Did you used to be? Yeah, I was mildly condescending if it was a stupid comment. 
You're like giving someone someone's like, the food was a bit bland or meh. Yeah, I you sometimes you're a bit be, bland. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm like I say, mildly condescending, <laughs> which is I think the only way to be. Oh. So we're having a little look. So we're not. Oh my goodness. We're not quite. Wait, wait, there. you just you just had a little look. No, no. That was your one rule. No, I know, but it's been eight minutes. Ah, oh, this guy, mate. Double standard. One rule for you. One rule for me. Are you going to open it? Fuck it. Am I allowed <laughs> yeah, to? Yeah, have a look. Okay, you guys ready? This is the big reveal. You got a good shot. Okay, three, two. Whoa. Oh, that actually hey, looks... Hey, it's not, it's not looking too bad. That looks great. Get the lead shot so as it can keep going. Keep going. That looks amazing. It does look... I would good. eat it like that. Look at that. That's all that. Mmm. It's good stuff. Um, um, what yeah, else have you... Sort of Melbourne Coin Festival, Sydney, Brisbane, Perth. Are you free to come to any of those? I absolutely am. Is he Lauren? Yeah, wide open. Nothing on. 31st of March to the 24th of April. Any of those nights. Do you want me to bring my eggplant? Bring your eggplant. You can you can bring food props, whatever you want. Pick a night. Sixth. Let me, let me get, let's get a night. We can promise the audience that Jock is going to go to do a show. You could do five minutes. He's at the show watching you on the sixth of April. On the sixth of April. Yeah. Would you like to on the sixth of April on a Wednesday night? That's a tough. That's a tough night. Is that why? It's hump. You know, hump day. Are people less? They're just like in the middle of a work week. They're like, oh, I've got that file or whatever people with jobs think. File? You know, I don't know what you know. Oh, man, the office thing. Like a new file think. or a file file. <laughs> you know, oh, like, yeah. okay. The boss keeps asking me for the graph. Where's the graph? <laughs> Where's the graph, Marcus? Nazim, the graph. <laughs> the graph. <laughs> it's been a long oh, time since I've graph. worked a job. <laughs> On Wednesdays, maybe their mind's filled with, you know, they've got to get the staple. They've run out of staples. Oh, no, the oh, staple. The staple. The Stapler. Isn't that what happens when they come home from work in those movies? They're just like, oh, you've had a tough day at work, honey. And they're like, oh, yeah. Station recovered, you know. Just couldn't find it today. I don't know what. In, in, in actual reality, yeah, though, yeah. No, are, Wednesday, people, are people nah, you know less what? likely to laugh on a Wednesday nah, nah, than they are on Friday? Actually, I think Wednesdays, because if you're coming out to a comedy show on a Wednesday, it means yep. you really want to be there. Friday, everybody's just out anyway. So, so it's just like, oh, yeah. yeah. But they're also a bit, a bit drunk. Often. Got it. But yeah, no, so Wednesday night, it's a, good, it's, a, it's a good night for you to be out doing comedy. I promise you I won't be drunk. Five minutes. You're in? Five, no, I can't. I Two can't, minutes. I can't be, what? One but minute. I, but I'm just One not enough. funny. All right, so he's in. You're, okay, you're the funny so guy. 6th of April, Jock's stand-up debut. Oh my God, that's just not happening. It's absolutely not happening. You just shook on it. With that Culturally, was... <laughs> that means you've committed. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You're in. It's culture. You've committed in front of everybody. Um, okay, so by now you should have a reasonably caramelised jaffle. Here we go. I thought you were supposed to do it dramatically. This is the whole. You can't do it dramatically because you've put so much in your. Ta-da! Okay. Now what I like to do is just. It's just not quite. It's I will quite say, there, um, practically speaking, yeah. you couldn't make this on your lunch break. We've taken an hour. <laughs> have we? How long have we taken? 50 minutes. So you'd be you'd, you'd have we, to go back to the station recovered by now. We've been talking a lot of smack. This is when the boss you. comes and goes, time up everybody, food down. All right. So let's just do a little a little cross section guy. See all these bits around the outside? Like I love the all the crusty, the crusty crunchy bits. Oh no. Can you help me with mine please? Absolutely. Look oh, at that guy. Wow. Thank you. Woo. I'm scared of your one. I just don't want to mess it up and then at the last second it just goes everywhere. All right, let's go. Yours actually looks pretty good. Except... Actually. The bread's like... Had a it's bit the of same a, bread that you... It's had a bit did. of an avalanche. Oof. Oh, yeah, it's pretty hot. Let oh. me cut it in half for you. It's a lot of smoke. Do you know what? It's not a bad effort, Nas. Thank you very much. Look at it. Oh. We'll get rid of the burnt crust, <laughs> crusty oh, bits. bits. In MasterChef, you'd edit that bit out. We'd just edit it out. It would look like it never happened. And then you do this. There you go, eggplant parmesan jaffles. That's your one. Oh yeah. I think that's pretty good. Look at it. That's a pretty good jaffle. All right, anyway, now we get to eat it. I'm pretty proud of myself. So. This is actually quite hot. It's gonna be nuclear hot, oh. just so you know. But we're gonna do it anyway, because no. chefs, We've got Chefs. the ability to hold things that are too hot. Yep. And in our mouth, yeah. we're able to eat things that are very, very hot. So you ready? I'm ready. I go. Oh! 
Oh, hot. Wow. I'm hot. Wow. Very good. I want him. It's really hot. <laughs> but it's really good. Uh huh. Why is it really hot? <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> ha. Ah. Woo. Oh, I'm really hot. <laughs> so if you're in an office and you want a pay rise, run one of these into your boss. Guaranteed pay rise. As a threat. Oh, burn your face. <laughs> no, cultural diversity. <laughs> you forgot why we're here. Yeah, 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 you're right, exactly. Give it easy to your boss. Yeah. Uh, oh, um, I hope oh. you've enjoyed a weird cook up um, <laughs> with uh, Jaffles. Eggplant Parmesan Jaffle, uh, obviously, if you do a thinner layer, oh. you'll get a neater, more delicious mm. jaffle. Um, hey, if you're a family of five to ten and you're hungry, there's about a meal or five here for each of you <laughs> on the table. Just the leftovers. There is so much there. <laughs> but hey, if you... Oh, so we're going to wrap up, mate. We're gonna wrap yeah, up? we've got to wrap up. Okay. If you're, um, if you're wondering how to get involved, go to tasteofharmony.org.au. There's still till the 25th of March. That's a lot of days left. So you can, you can have a cook along at work, you can share a recipe, you can, you can, I don't know, can you order in? I don't think there are any real clear rules and no one's gonna penalize you if you do it the wrong way. There's a, there are recipes on, fa you can share recipes on Facebook. I've been told, recipe that on Facebook. Jock's recipe oh, Jock's is on. recipes on Facebook. Go to the A Taste of Harmony uh, Facebook page and you will see all of the equipment and the ingredients that you need in this recipe. You can recreate it equally with as much mess as we have, or you can do it properly and have a thinner layer and it will be more beautiful. Yeah. As I said before, if you want a pay rise, good thing to run one of these into your boss. Do you know what I mean? A little <laughs> bit of... <laughs> what do you think? I think it's great. So we're going to leave you guys there and uh, thank you for having us. Ciao. See ya.